Hey man, we out here for our people, man. We are the battle axes of the most high. Won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. Alright. What's going on, bro? Say it again, oh, I can't you, hear you. You heard what I said, K2. Why can't I go online and Google it? And the feds ain't doing nothing. I'm not talking at you. Yeah, I, I, I got you, bro. I'm crazy. I'm with you. So what about the K2? But, but what about the K2, bro? You know, we ain't supposed to be smoking that anyway. It's a camera on. Rewind everything I said and play it back. Read this up. I'm done talking. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Are y'all tax exempt? Are y'all tax exempt? Uh huh. No. So, listen to this, huh? Right? One more time, read from the top. FBI, bro. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Now, brother, that K2 you talking about, stay off the block, of fam. Or, or, or whatever. But the most high just here said. Upload everything I said to YouTube. The scripture just said the Lord will smite thee with madness, man. You got to start keeping some laws, statutes, and commandments or something, bro. You got to get some fringes on, leave that flock alone, because that's not the way, man. The way is the most high. This is what we read. Finish that out for me, right? And blindness and astonishment of heart. Man, and we know what an astonishment is. And when you say heart, we're talking about your mind. So, man. The Lord going to smite something with you, man. He going to mess your mind up if you keep so indulging in all of this. Why do the FBI let us smoke K2? That's it. I don't know who we is, talking, bro. Because I don't know what that Nobody approved the fringes on. You I think we don't get that. down with the you can't K2. Prove that, but we can prove okay, that. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Okay, now listen. Now you can come up here and be a man and talk like you got some sense, or you can just keep walking. Read saying? this for me. I said That's what he's saying. Oh, he said he, we, Listen to what he's saying. Listen. I told him I can't hear what he was saying. I read this for me. Please, that's five and one, man. This is a book of Kings, last chapter five, and verse one. Keep thy foot when thou goest into the house of God. Okay, this goes for him, that brother, and any other brother that feel like, or any sister that feel like. Y'all can just come up here and say what y'all want to say. I sat up here and I asked the brother to come talk to me like a man. All that hooping and hollering, I don't have time for. And I just pulled Deuteronomy 28 and 28 because you're smitten with madness. My Calm man. down. If you're not coming down, bro, I'm not dealing with you. I don't came down like a Ricky Keep reading, knock. And be more ready to hear. Be more ready to what? Be more ready, ready to hear. hear. I don't dare Battle that. Battle Be more ready, ready to hear. hear. Then to give sacrifice of fools. This brother giving a sacrifice of what? Oh, oh, what now, I'm brother, getting... what I'm up here trying to do trying is I'm trying to wake up our people. I'm trying to show, I'm trying to show the brothers right here, Hashtag you, the brothers all uh, across this whole little West End that we are the true people of this Bible. That's right. What about so, I mean, you want me to try to fix the world? So Somebody give me Leviticus, me the best, let us 19 and 17. Break it out. Break it out. I'm glad that you're bringing up all these exciting precepts, bro, because let me show you how you fix the world, man. Something like black on black violence, which we're not black at all, man. We're going to say Jew on Jew violence. You got it for me? Bring it out. Read this out. This is the book of Leviticus. Leviticus. Leviticus means the law. That's what it is. Read it out. Chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Pause. He asked for the solution. He don't want to hear it. That's the solution right there. That's right. We can close the book and go home. In camp right now. Hey, don't hate your brother, man, in your heart. Read, huh? Thou shalt in any, in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Hey, it says rebuke thy neighbor. Just because you stay in some pot mints and the person across the aisle from you is not talking about their neighbor, especially if they're not of your nation. 
If they're not from the 12 tribes of Israel, this time about the Israelites. That's right. That's who your neighbor is, read, huh? And not suffer sin upon him. Yeah, man, say, and we trying to keep our brothers up out of sin. Somebody around the corner got a question? Nah, he got a question. All right. Good. Read this, huh? Change for a 50. Nah, step up. Hey, good. That's it. Yeah, Taylor, so he said change for a 50. You can read what you want to read. Give me Nehemiah 10 and 31. Read, huh? This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4. In chapter 7, in verse 17. Bring it out. Uh, as for us, our eyes has yet filled for our vain help. Read, Doc. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Hey, man, we love doing that. Always going to the, quote unquote, to the red man. For real, to, 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 to try to help save us. Instead of, I mean, instead of going into the scriptures, man. Hey, it's real easy for us, man. If you were a 12 child of Israel, or you wanted the children of the 12 tribes of Israel, how we fix ourselves is going to and doing these scriptures, man. Because we obviously haven't been doing any of these scriptures. Like I said, look at the brother, man. He finna hold what you got, man. Read this for me, right? Because if somebody's asked Captain for change for a 50 on today, do y'all know what today is? Bring it out. Today is the Sabbath day, man. We ain't supposed to be doing any work. That's right. What you got, right? This is the book of Nehemiah. Chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land we were. And it said, if the people of the land, the land that we in, man, say we are in captivity, man. So right. even if the people of this land try to come bring us some what, Rita? Of the land we were, or any victuals on the seventh day to settle, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. Oh, on the holy day. Hey man, the scripture is clear. We ain't supposed to buy nor sell on today. Today is the Sabbath day. That's what, That's what today is, real quick. My my sister's right there across the tracks with the phone. Do y'all know y'all nationality? Bring it out, huh? The one that's in the black, not the black sisters across the track. And she turned around and look. Sister, what the glass? Come. Hey, excuse me. Big O, big O. Hey, brother. Hey, what's your nationality? What do you say? 7 Eleven is your nationality? Keep it up, it's a car. So, anyway, you're it's a car, man. You shouldn't be buying or selling anyway. This is for you. Keep, read that again, huh? This is the book of the Vegas, chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it up. And if the people of the land we well or any victuals on the seventh day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. Yeah, man, we don't do none of that on the Sabbath, man. We are here bringing thus said the Lord That's on the right. Sabbath. That's right. That's right. Excuse me, my brother right here on the walker. My brother right here on the walker. Ooh, give me Isaiah 1 and 3 one more time. Bring it out. Okay, so listen, if I'm calling on y'all, that's the problem. That's the problem. I don't have the complexion for the protection. Because if I was up here being a red man, a quote unquote white man, trying to tell y'all anything that came out of these scriptures, man, I have a line from here to Timbuktu. Oh, but since I look like y'all, we got the same complexion, y'all can't believe that. Oh, them Negroes must be crazy. Them Negroes is reading the Bible. Key word, we're reading the Bible. Read this one more time, I. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter one, verse three. Bring it out. The ox knows his owner. A dumb animal. And the ass, his master's quill. Another dumb animal. But Israel does not know. But who? But, but Israel, Israel does not know. The so-called black, the so-called Hispanic, the so-called native Indian. The scripture just said that y'all don't even know, man. It's compared to a dumb animal and a stubborn animal. Well, two Jesus stubborn gosh. animals. Bring it up. So everybody out here stubborn, y'all like the position that y'all in? What's That's the being the, the valley of the dry bones, man. What's Say, but the, the most, I got something to wake y'all up. Read, read this for me, I'll bring this out. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and 4. Bring it up. And doubt, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I have gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. They said, even thou, even you. Hold on, I'm glad you stopped, brother. Brother. Uh, excuse me, brother, right here on the walker. 
My people just don't consider them, man. I'm talking about, man, y'all making these scriptures come to life. For if y'all thought this was an old book, I think y'all are old, man. The scripture just said, I'm a cause even thou. Y'all gonna discontinue from thy inheritance. So I guess if I would say essay or any one of them other proverbs, y'all would try to understand what I'm saying. Black man, let's try it that way. Uh, brother across the tracks. Brother across the tracks. Sister across the tracks on the, on the uh, walk. What's your nationality, sister? Just scream for me real loud. What'd you say? Say it again, what was it? An Indian? Who an Indian? Was your mama Indian? Was your daddy an Indian? Shalom, shalom. One second. Sis, who was an Indian in your family? Your mama or your daddy? Your mama, who was your father? What was your father? You don't know? All right, well, you got some soul searching to do, sis. You got to go find out who your father is. The scriptures say we are who our father is because our father carries the um, seed and the mother carries the egg. You got it for me? Read this real quick, God. It's the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Bring it out! And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declare their pedigrees. That's what it means, pedigree. Pedigree means bloodline, sis. Like a bunch of little pit bull puppies. You know what I mean? Them pit bull puppies gonna be whoever their daddy is. I don't care if it be in a Labrador. You know what I mean? Read on, huh? After their families, by the house of their fathers. By the house of their mother. By, by the, the house, house of, of their, their fathers. fathers. Okay, so that, don't nobody else say that my mama was an Indian that make me an Indian. No, we have all learned that we go by the house of our father. Read on, huh? According to the number of the names from 20 years and upward by their pros. What, read on that last part? From the 20 years and upward by their pros. Con, so that mean if you 18, you ain't grown yet. If you 21, you been a uh, grown for a year. It says for 20 years and up. You got a question, sis? Or you just sitting there just listening to the word? You done been over before, what's your nationality? Wow. Listen to what I'm, what's your nationality? Yeah, na yeah, what nation do you come from? What nation of people? Africa. Okay. Look at this chart right here. Can you resonate with anything? What is your daddy? Because we just read in the scripture that you are, you are who your father is. So what is your father? Let's start there. Your daddy Creole? Is that black? Is that white? Is that free? You don't know? He's just a toss-up? But look. If he is an American black, Creole, I think that fits this American black thing. But you be from the tribe of Judah. And where you coming from, work? To work. Are you gonna go to work? Hey, sis, you might need to throw some uh, fringes on your apron or something like that. You look down, like, I'm looking mad yeah, crazy right, right now. <laughs> yeah, very crazy, sis. I ain't seen it. I'm gonna read it up out of the room. You already know it. What should you wear? Aren't you a princess? Are you a princess of the Most High? Somebody that never told you that before? What princess you done never seen in some paintings? Think about it. You remember that movie, The Color Purple? Seeing in them. But seeing in them in some pants. She wasn't in no pants. Yeah. Brother. Real quick. Brother. Brother. Right there. What's your nationality? Huh? Yeah, right there. Huh? What's that, I, I got you, I got you. Yeah, but uh, like I say, them fringes, sis, that's, that's what we missing. You know what I'm talking about? And also, yeah. read this out. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Sis, you're a, you're a child of Israel, right? It's going out to you, listen up. And be them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. How long? Throughout well, their generations. Generation. Can you generate? You still can generate and have children? So you listen to it. And that they put up on the fringe of the borders a ribband of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So it just said, 
On the fringe, just put your look on the fringe. Put a ribbon of blue. The reason why you put the ribbon of blue is so you can remember, they ain't saved. The Most High, that's our God. His son, Yahweh Shah, that the word Eno to call Jesus, he died for us. This is just a remembrance of what to do and what not to do. That's what you gon' get with that war. War, Jeremiah 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We don't battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war.